G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, while my mount is currently uh, with Celestron Australia being repaired, I thought I'd uh, take this opportunity to redesign a few of the things to do with the RASs and, uh, and tidy stuff up. Um, there are some big changes happening to that system, including the ASIS system I'm pretty much dropping, so that will be done in a different video. But for now I thought we'd talk about the, uh, the focus motors from ZWO. Now the motors themselves work great, the brackets I don't really fully like. Um, when you buy the C8 brackets, this is basically how it comes. There's no instructions or anything like that on how to install um, your focus motor and bracket. So this is how I pretty much installed mine. Now as you can see there's a fair bit of gap there and what some people tend to do is turn this bracket on its side and that way you can actually adjust the bracket so it's sitting um, so you, your focus motor is sitting closer to your, the back of the rasa um, but for me I didn't want to do that I wanted to keep my focus motors basically um, you know facing uh, a vertical with the uh, the rasa itself I didn't want them on, on their side um, so what I decided to do was uh, adjust the bracket um, and this here is what I've come up with so as you can see the brackets a lot smaller and my focus motor sits a lot closer to the uh, the back of the rasa and it's all tucked in fairly neatly and it's not hanging off the uh, the side because with both of these rasters set up the last and with me transporting them and everything else like that, I don't really want anything else sort of, even though it doesn't hang off the side much, I just don't want it to, to hang off the side. I just, I just don't like it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, now alter this bracket here and I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. Um, so uh, yeah, let's uh, head on over into the shed and get started. All right, guys, so I hope it's not uh, too echoey and loud in here. The uh, doors are bashing around a little bit because it is windy outside. Um, so forgive me for that. Uh, all right, first thing we've got to do is take off the, uh, the focus motor. Now, I'm going to keep my rasa fairly, uh, fairly level um, purely because the moment I take uh, any tension off of this, uh, the focus mechanism itself, um, if it was on a slight tilt, the focus mechanism could slide into the uh, the unit or um, or around a bit. So I don't want that. I want to keep it uh, fairly uh, fairly level. So when I disconnect all this, it doesn't really move at all. All right. So I need to get some uh, Allen keys and uh, and start this start to uh, disassemble. Alright, so as you can see everything's been uh, disassembled and I've carefully moved my rasa um, out the road because sparks are probably going to be flying a bit later. Now, um, this is the bracket that I'm going to be modifying and all I'm going to be doing is taking out a couple of these, uh, cutting off a couple of these rows here. As you can see the bracket that bolts onto the, uh, the rasa, um, you might be able to see it here, bolts onto your bracket like so. and with it extended all the way out, it's, um, it, it causes the focus motor to, to uh, be a bit too far away from the, um, the rasa itself. So by bringing the bracket in a little bit, we can then bring the focus motor uh, closer to the rasa. Um, and this is why some people end up having them mounted to 
the side like so so that way they can bring the uh the focus motor uh, closer to the rasa and you don't have those um, big gaps but like i said i want to keep mine all nicely tucked in all right so uh yeah it's time to uh, get cutting and uh, and to do that I am just going to use my uh, my little Dremel here and the uh, and the cutting blade. Um, I love this little thing; it's uh, it's so great, and it's what I use also use to uh, modify the um, the plate for the dovetails to swing in and out, um, so I can adjust them. Uh, so uh, yeah. Well, like anything, when you're uh, out there in the shed and you're fabricating, cutting or whatever, it always pays to have a pair of uh, safety glasses on hand, um, especially when you're cutting, cutting metal. Uh, you know, sparks are flying all over the place from um, metal fragments and the last thing you want is any of that stuff to uh, get in your eye. So, um, and, uh, and basically that's going to kill your Astro, isn't it? So we definitely don't want that. So uh, yeah, safety glasses on, and uh, we'll get going. But uh, what I've, because I've already mounted, uh, modified this bracket over here, I can see that I've got to do one, two, three, four, six slots. So the last two, I believe, uh, need to be uh, taken off. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so the last two um, I need to uh, cut off. So uh, I've just cut off um, the uh, the piece that I need. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six slots um, to play with. Now, what I'm going to do now is just uh, round off the edges, uh, make it all nice and smooth, and uh, and clean it up a clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to remove my uh, my grinding tool. And just get my little uh, my little sander. These Dremels are fantastic. I love them. So uh, we've, uh, we've smoothed that off a fair bit, um, no jagged edges, so it's, uh, it's quite nice and, uh, and ready to uh, be installed. Um, if you guys can have a bit of a look there for yourself. Yeah, not too bad of a job, I think. All right, time for the, uh, the assembly part again. So uh, 
I'm going to give the rest a Okay, so uh, I hope I've done this right, otherwise um, I'll be buying myself another bracket. And now, uh, just remembering how it all, uh, it all pretty much goes back together again. It's a good thing I've got my, uh, my other one there. Um, because I'm pretty terrible at forgetting how things can sometimes go back together again. Pretty good. Now, when you're installing the uh, ZW EAF uh, focuses onto your your Rasa 8, you got to make sure that you uh, you keep your your orange um, ring on. But before I do that. Now we're good. And I'll tell you what, um, sometimes things aren't always straightforward in terms of um, Allen bolts. I mean, you need three different types of Allen, Allen um, screws here just to uh, install this thing. Um, I wish sometimes they would just leave things a bit simpler and only have one sort of one type of uh, Allen key required for assembly of some things. But um, in the world of astrophotography, uh, I'm sure you guys have got plenty of parts all laying around and sometimes your combinations are, are full of uh, all different sized uh, components um, and allen keys and screws and bolts and all sorts because I know I know my my uh, setup certainly is all right so just tighten that up a bit more and you don't want to don't want to over tighten it either um, last thing you want to do is strip threads Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to just uh, slide on the coupler. Now, I do always tend to make things a little bit more awkward than they, they should be, so... Let's just have a quick look here. So it's going to go on like so. Let's just double check. That looks pretty good to me. I knew there was another one. There we go. All right, so let's put that back on there. Which one do we got? This one. These little Allen keys. Screws can go. Back on. Now, 
Oh, the pain. Pain, pain, pain. It's a good thing I've got slightly, uh, slightly smaller hands for this part. I'm just making sure um, my focus motor itself, the shaft is, uh, is fairly well level and everything and it looks, looks all pretty good to me so what I might do is start tightening everything up tighten up these grommets now I don't want this bracket here or sorry the, um, the coupler itself to be riding up against the, the plate, I want a little bit of a gap um, just so there's less tension on the motor there are so I'm just going to uh, Quickly make sure everything's still a little good and then tighten up these last couple of Allen bolts. All right, so we are all done now. So now I have both my brasses with the, uh, the focus motors um, tucked in quite nicely to uh, the unit itself and it's sitting a little bit, uh, a little bit lower. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Slightly different to uh, what I normally make, but um, I figured I'd share the modification and how I did it um, with you all, just in case you may be interested in doing it yourself. Uh, really, the only tools I used were the, uh, the Allen keys to undo the bolts, um, my Dremel with uh, a little sanding uh, attachment and a grinding uh, attachment there, and that's it. I mean. Um, it's pretty soft metal, so it, uh, it's very easy to, uh, to cut. Um, if you've got any com comments about uh, this slight modification, um, let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear them. Uh, let me know if you've had any issues yourself installing the brackets um, to your RASA or your uh, schmidt Cassegrain telescope. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I love all the support you guys have been giving me, and although the videos aren't quite coming out um, like they were, uh, purely because I just can't go out and image at this stage. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm not uh, not going to be doing stuff and, and uploading comments, uh, content still. Um, there's a, another video I'm going to do a bit later on um, in regards to my um, saddle plates and the movement of them because I want to uh, change that bar um, and use a slightly smaller bar so I've got to uh, make modifications to that bar too. And I'll show you how I, I do that. Well, that's it for now. So, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, uh, take it easy. See ya.